1 Chronicles chapter 5 And the sons of Reuben, the oldest son of Israel, for he was the oldest son, but because he made his father's bride bed unclean. His birthright was given to the sons of Joseph, the son of Israel, but he is not to be given the place of the oldest. Though Judah became stronger than his brothers, and from him came the ruler, the birthright was Joseph. The sons of Reuben, the oldest son of Israel, Hanok and Pelu, Hezron and Kami, the sons of Joel, Shemaiah his son, Gav his son, Shimei his son, Mikke his son, Iaya his son, Baal his son, Pire his son, whom Tiglath Pileser, king of Assyria, took away. As a prisoner, he was chief of the Rebenites. And his brothers, by their families, when the list of the generations was made up, the chief Jair and Shikaria, and Bera, the son of Hezaz, the son of Shema, the son of Shuel, who was living in error as far as Nebo and Barmion. And to the east, his limits went as far as the starting point of the wasteland, and at the river Euphrates, because their cattle was increased in number in the land of Gilead. And in the days of Saul, they made war on the Hagarites and overcame them, and they put up their tents through all the land east of Gilead. And the sons of Gad were living opposite to them in the land of Bashan as far as Sheleka, Jewel the chief, and Shapam the second, and Jenai and Shapat in Basan. And their brothers, the men of their family, Michael and Meshulam and Sheba and Jurai, Jekan and Jia and Eber, seven of them. These were the sons of Abi Hay, the son of Huvi, the son of Jerua, the son of Gilead, the son of Michael, the son of Jeshishai, the son of Jehudo, the son of Boz, Ahi, the son of Abidir, the son of Guni, head of their families. And they were living in Gilead in Basan, in each small town, and in all the Greece, land of Sion, as far as its children. All these were listed under the name of their families and the time of Judah king of Judah, and in the time of Jeroboam, king of Israel. There were 44,760 of the sons of Reuben and of the Gedites, and of the half-tribe of Manasseh, all strong men, expert in the use of the body cover, the sword, and the bow, and in the art of war, or able to take up arms. And they went to war against the Hagarites with Jeter and Nephish and Noda. And they were helped against them so that the Hagarites and those with them were given into their power, for they sent up prayer to God in the fight, and he gave ear to them, because they put their faith in him. And they took away their cattle, 50,000 camels, 250,000 sheep, and 2,000 ashes, and 100,000 men. And a very great number went to their death because the war was God's purpose. And they went on living in their place till they were taken away as prisoners. 
the men of the half tribe of Manasseh were living in the land, and their numbers were increased to all the land from Bashan to Bar, Shir, Hormon, and Sinir, and the mountain Hormon was theirs. And these were the heads of the families Yipper and Ishi, and Ilir, and Ezreal, and Jeremiah, and Hodavia, and Shahidiel, men of war, of great name, heads of families. And they did evil against the God of their fathers, worshipping the gods of the people of the land, whom God had put to destruction before them. And the God of Israel put an impulse into the heart of Paul, king of Assyria, and of Tigulet, Pelezer, king of Assyria, who took them away as prisoners, all the Rubenites, and the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, to Hala, and Habor, and Hara, and to the river of Gozan, to this day. 